Welcome to today's Grow It Green. We're at Achille Agway in Milford. I'm joined by Margaret Hagen from UNH Cooperative Extension. And Margaret, today's topic, there's a lot of buzz about, pun, <laughs> pun intended, and something a lot of people are interested in, and that's their, having their own beehive. Yes, people are interested in growing bees, especially now because pollinators are having trouble, a little bit of trouble um, surviving. But keep in mind that these are European honeybees and they aren't native, but if you want honey, yeah, what a this great, is what I'd be <laughs> this is what I would be after them. too. Right. What a great hobby um, to do. There are a couple of things you need to know though. Yeah, what, are, what about like, what do I need to keep a hive thriving? Where do I site it? Things right. of that nature. So the first thing to do is to site it in a sunny area that is close to a lot of pollinator plants. So you want plants that are gonna bloom from spring through fall to support the hive. So. Um, Trees that bloom early in spring, like pussy willows, poplars, um, maples, all the way through to New England asters in October. You need to have a food source for them. And the other thing that you need to have is a water source. Okay, now other things uh, aside from that, uh, do you need protection from wind, cold, uh, water? And then in my case, uh, I live in kind of a rural area, <laughs> I might need protection from something else, yeah, right? Yeah, you might. Um, if you can site it so that it's out of the wind, that's fine. You, you really need to site it where you get sun and where you have close proximity to water and pollinator plants. But if you can put it out of the wind, that's ideal also. And if you live in the rural area, you're gonna probably have problems with bears. So you might want to put up an electric fence or just not put the hive in an area that bears travel. Okay, now we see here a kit here that, right. and it contains, I guess, just pretty much everything Pretty much you everything need to get that's started. out here, the book, the smoker, the feeders. You'll need to mail order your bees. Um, and Achille Agua in Milford is having a workshop on January 9th, starting at 10 a.m. And you don't need to pre-register, just show up on, that morning and um, when you go to Farm and Forest on the weekend of the 23rd, they have an exhibitor's booth for the New Hampshire Beekeepers Association. They have lots of resources and it's staffed by knowledgeable people. So if you're a little uncertain, go talk to them. And then if you wanna learn about pollinator plants, go on to the UNH Cooperative Extension website and go to the Nursery and Landscape page. And as we can also see between us, there are a lot of books oh, out yeah. here so you can find a lot of information that way. And hopefully at some point in time, you'll be uh, enjoying oh, your own honey. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's it for today's Grow It Green.